ass. And uh, in all honesty, before I get started with the motivational minute, I had a conversation with my kids earlier this week, man. And um, as y'all, you know, well know, um, I wear my, um, I guess this is a faith-based podcast, right? And what I'm saying is my moral compass is, you know, having a belief in God and and, and, blend, and believing that there is, you know, if there's good, then there's got to be evil. You know what I'm saying? You can't have one without the other. And I, and, I, and I wanted to, you know, with that being said, the precipice of this Motivational Minute is to let you know that people already know who you are from the conversations you had with the people in your life or in your circle or in your comings and your goings. Um, people know who you are from their perspective. Um, they know who you are from the, from you know past jobs you didn't had or past runnings you had. And people also know who you are from how you move in this in this world, right? And um, what I'm saying is, um, like I, said, I got this. I, I'm gonna call him a mentor. This older gentleman, you know, what I'm saying that's you know having his you know walk in Christ, and we are both believers, and we were having a conversation at work, and it came somehow, some way, another person ended up recognizing who he was from a prior job he had, and the guy was telling me it was like, hey, you know. Hey, OG, you got, you got, hey, man, he, he a dangerous man. You got to watch after him. You know what I'm saying? And me and him, you know, after I didn't talk to the other guy, me and the OG, we sitting there just rapping or whatever. He was like, you believe it or not, man, Carrie, you know, people know who you are, man. You know what I'm saying? You might not know him, but they know who you are by how you move. You know what I'm saying? How you operate, how you talk to people. You know what I'm saying? How The, the relationships you have with them, whatever. And um, to those of y'all there working in y'all gift, I mean, it's a point. It's gonna come a point in time where you get whether it's writer's block, or whether you get you know unmotivated to do it. Whether you you know in your circle of influence, maybe you have <laughs> people that you know and love and know and trust that uh, unfortunately don't believe in your dream. Your dream is your dream, man. And I wanted to take this time to let you know that uh, whatever you're doing, whether you're working in your gift, um, to keep on working, because somebody somewhere is telling somebody how dope you are, yeah. And uh, also, with that being said, um, I wanted to give you, you know, a little bit of concrete evidence. Is also, you know, something to also, I guess, to, to put your finger on. And in this world, like I said, I mentioned before, um, within good and evil, right now in this world, we are fighting what we call a spiritual battle. You know what I'm saying? Each and every day. And I'm glad, so glad I muted your mic. But we are fighting a spiritual battle each and every day in this world, every day of our lives. And uh, I want you right now uh, who out there listening, learning to stop listening to that voice of doubt. Stop listening to that voice of criticism um, because you are being reminded of your past shortcomings. And I want to let you know right now that that is the enemy. OK, the enemy's job is to remain constant in control of you by telling you what you believe in yourself. Because when you hear that voice, oftentimes that voice you hear sounds like your own. And I want to let you know that whenever you hear that voice of doubt, self-loathing, pity, um, despair, um, something that's unmotivating, something that you've done, done in your past life, your past transgressions, like any bad thing you've done in your life. When you hear that voice to sound like yourself, I want to let you know that you internally are agreeing with a lie okay because in my walk of life god gave you peace and it's peace he left he left with you and he's not gonna stray you away from anything other than that right and what i'm saying is if you can read the word you know whether it's once a week you know what I'm saying add that one day a week two days a week you know what i'm saying but, but but get into whatever kind of religion that you you know Fine, comfort in. I'm a firm believer in Jesus Christ, and I want to let y'all know that that's what I put on this podcast. Maybe some of y'all who don't agree with me or whatever, whatever, and it is what it is. But what I want to say is, with this podcast got put together, with that moral compass being first and foremost, right? And I wanted to let you know, let's say, for instance, if you can discern that voice of negativity, discern that voice of despair, destruction, what if you can discern that voice that being a voice that could be heard as a hiss of a snake? I would guarantee you would probably recognize it. And I want to let you know the reason why that voice sounds like yours is because you were listening to that lie. But if you can discern that voice of being a hiss of a snake or I guess demonic or whatever it is, 
The enemy is in fear that if you progress towards your purpose in life, you forget that he exists. You know what I'm saying? I want to let you know that Jesus got on the mount and he was tempted by the devil a couple of times. He recognized who he was. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to recognize that you are here for a purpose. Continue to walk into your gift because your gift ain't going to do nothing but make room for you like it has for me. And I want to be a testament to y'all out here um, in the internet, in the webs, on any kind of streaming platform, man, that I'm doing this for us because we don't get Unfortunately, we don't never get told this because a lot of us to get onto these different platforms, like I told my daughter who watched this little girl on YouTube, how much they talk about God. Would they have them same followers if they didn't? Probably not. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not here for have a cult following of people that believe in the bullshit. They're here to listen to the music. They're here to laugh at the jokes and shit like that. Here to answer all the funny questions. I'm here to you know help change your life. And I want to let you know that, uh, Every day I step on this earth, man, I want to be able to help, you know, minister and, you know, live and walk, walk the talk. You know what I'm saying? Because if I can walk the talk, you can watch it. And if you watch it, you can learn from it, y'all. So that's just my motivation for this, for this week. And um, I don't want to apologize for getting religious on y'all because this may be the only time y'all get to hear it, man. But I want you to just definitely go out there, whatever book you have. Study to show yourself approved in this, in this world, man, because we are fighting a spiritual battle. And I want you to put your whole arm of God on, man, because I had been tested early this week. Um, and I was having a beautiful week this week, but I got tested by a person that's not even my superior that had something to say about everything I did in my job but couldn't do my fucking job, man. And it, it turned just like that for me, you know what I'm saying, to be defensive, <laughs> to be you know upset and things of that nature. But if you can discern them voices, man, don't. Don't believe what motherfuckers tell you who you are. Believe and know who you are and why you were created, man. And you were created in this hierarchy of people. You got God, you got the angels, and then we got us that just a little lower than the angels, man. Remember how powerful you are in this world. Just because Elon Musk out there making fucking robots to replace us, remember how powerful you are and walk like that. Take that chin off your chest kings and queens straighten up their crown because we here to clear the air y'all peace man burns you're now locked into twin tuition clear the air